So I had a viewer ask whether they could use a 65, an i5-6500 processor, non-T processor, in their ProDesk. Um, I think it may have been specifically for a ProDesk 600 uh, G3, but um, what I've got here is a ProDesk 400 because I, I want to see what will happen. So what we're going to try to do today is I've got a i5-6500 non-T in this G2 65-watt unit. I want to put it into this 35-watt ProDesk 400 uh, G3. See what happens. Um, you know, do I get beeps uh, when I use the 65-watt um, uh, power supply? Can I throw in the 90-watt power supply into the mix, and will it actually work? You know, can because if you look up the specs, it only shows uh, T processors. I'm curious to see if we can actually use a non-T processor in there. Conceivably, if I can get it to work on the ProDesk 400, it should work in the ProDesk 600. So what I need to do first is I'm going to just pop out the processor out of this G2. You'll notice, obviously, it's got the copper uh, heat sink and the extra fan, etc. So we know that this is a, a 65 watt. Uh, let me get the um, tool here right so we can uh, take this guy off. Okay, I'm not going to be concerned with thermal paste and all that kind of stuff because I'm, this isn't going to be a permanent move. It's just mainly to see what's going to happen uh, when we stick that processor in. Because we know that if I put a non-T into a 35 watt system and don't have a 90 watt power supply, uh, I'll get the beeps that's telling me that essentially, uh, you know, I need a different uh, power setup. So let's see if we get this off. Okay, let's uh, let's get the Pro Desk up here, and we'll take its processor out. I'm also not going to, because I really can't, uh, change the um, heatsink on this uh, Pro Desk, because we're purely just seeing how the system is going to handle it. It's either just going to say, "Up, oh, sorry, I don't even know what to do with those," um, or we'll do it, and maybe this is another. Um, upgrade avenue that uh, people haven't tried yet. I believe currently this is an i3, and I'll just go ahead and put this heat sink back on. I could if I wanted to even just leave the heat sink off too, but uh, let's, let's not torture this CPU too much. Okay, we do have some RAM, that's good. Um, put this back. Uh, I, won't, I won't worry about this guy. Okay, let's put the top back on. Oh, before we do that, we need something to boot from. Okay, I went ahead and stuck in my standard SATA that I use for everything. It's got Windows 11 Pro on it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hook up um, some power and video to this, and we'll see what we get. Okay, we've got uh, video, keyboard, mouse, uh, network. My prediction is that we should get some beeps when we hook up. Uh, this is just a normal 65 watt uh, power supply that it would normally use, but that's with a T processor. Let's see what we get. Hit the power. I hear the fan. Let me check my video. Oh, there we go. What is that? One, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay. So three long, one, two, three, four, and four short. Let's just verify what that is. Uh, just a quick check, and that does sound like, yes, it's basically saying, hey, you don't have the right power supply, so let's get the, our 90 watt. Here's our 90 watt, and what is that, 4.62? two amps, I believe. 
is the standard 19.5 volts. Okay, we're going to try to plug this guy in. Okay, here goes with the 90 watt. Hitting the power button. I hear the fan. Waiting to see if we get some video. One, two, three, one. Oh, same one. Interesting. Well, I guess it just not going to work. Um, well, maybe that's why it specifically says that it will not um, uh, or does not support the non-T processors. Um, obviously, one of the reasons why then people would get the Elite Desk because then they would have that choice of processor, either the uh, T or non-T. And then also the choice of power supplies, either the 65 or 90, 90 of course being needed for the um, non-T processors. Well, you always, that's sometimes you just got to try these things out to see if they work. Just curiosity, I'm going to, I, I put the, uh, the i3 uh, T processor back into this uh, ProDesk 400. I'm going to still try this 90 watt on here and see what happens. This should be okay, and this should boot up without, a, without an issue. But in case people were wondering, hey, can I use that 90-watt uh, power supply on my uh, ProDesk 400 with a T-processor? Yep, it booted right in. I'm, um, I'm seeing the screen for, you know, do you want to run the memory test, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So everything works there. This is the 65-watt. Uh, G2. This is what happens when I put a 65 watt power supply connected instead of the 90 watt. Okay, get this fan going. We should start hearing our beeps. Two, three, one, two, three, four. So basically, the same set of sounds that we heard with the um, Pro Desk, except with the Pro Desk, it whatever we gave it, it didn't seem to like it. So, um, it, you know, it just doesn't like that non-T processor. And once I put the 90 watt, it booted up uh, perfectly fine. 